Hey everybody, welcome to my channel again. It's Joe Jaguar. Um, as you guys know, uh, I'm usually recording a video about once every week, which is pretty much standard what everybody else is doing, except for maybe the, people's that, the people that uh, maybe do jokes and pranks and that kind of stuff. But anyway, um, I'm going to be doing a few more videos in the next week or two, and the reason is uh, it's Christmas time. So I actually um, want to do a couple of videos on what are good entry uh, telescopes uh, that people could buy, uh, you know, for Christmas time, New Year's time. Now I know a lot of people, and you see it all the time. You see so many, just uh, well, what we call the trash or the garbage telescopes in this time of year, and it's understandable. Most people, you know, if you have a spouse, you have kids. If you uh, have nieces and nephews and brothers and sisters, siblings, whatever, uh, you know, a lot of people, you know, probably buying for at least 20 people or something like that. Maybe you're pitching in for the Christmas dinners as well. It gets very expensive. So, uh, you know, and I also have a budget too. So let's just say, for instance, myself, I probably have a $50 budget, um, you know, for the kids uh, per person type of thing. Um, so I'm sure everybody has a you know a similar budget as well. But so I am going to try to not think of you know because very easy with people myself and, and maybe you guys out there that's been in the hobby a long time and you always um, you, you think about the, the equipment you have and you always tell people uh, you know because I just heard this on the forums um, that uh, you know don't even bother buying. Uh, you know, hundred dollars and under, maybe two hundred dollars and under. Um, but you see tons and tons of used markets uh, of these little trash scopes, uh, Christmas time scopes that you know people do buy them. So I just wanted to kind of you know, is there a decent uh, telescope that somebody can buy as a gift uh, for the Christmas time or New Year's, or maybe a teenager getting? Uh, money as Christmas gifts and he wants to buy a first starter telescope. So is there anything that's out there that's decent in the $100 um, price range and up? And, and by experience, I know that's going to be really tricky to find something that's good quality. Well, forget about good. Okay quality, under 100 bucks. So I was going to buy this guy. Let, I'll get closer to you guys so you can see it. So this is... Uh, we're at Celestron. It's like a mini dog. This is the 76 millimeter, uh, and I was going to order that. Uh, Amazon had it for like $54. Uh, it was brand new, but the box was open, so that's pretty good. Inch and a quarter focuser. Um, however, I thought it was a parabolic mirror, um, and it's f4, so it's very very fast. It's portable. This might be good for kids, but as soon as I found out it was a spherical mirror. Uh, it comes with no uh, finder scope. The eyepieces are two Huygens kind, and uh, the deal killer was because it's a spherical mirror. Uh, at f4 as well, if it was parabolic mirror, it probably would have been okay for that price range. I mean, I think with tax was like uh, 62 bucks. So, uh, but if it's spherical and f4, um, it, it's going to be junk. It's not even worth it. So I decided, okay, what about this guy here? The Barsica, Barsica 70 millimeter. Um, so it's 70 millimeter length. Um, would this be any better as a somebody buying a gift? You know, if you have a $50 budget, $60 budget, this actually is about uh, $74 with tax. Um, shipping free on Amazon. But, um, and, and it is a 400 millimeter focal length. So that brings it almost to an F6. Now, so I thought being a refractor, 70 millimeter is a little small, as you know by my previous video where I said, uh, uh, you know, what's a good starting telescope? I say if you're going to start in a uh, refractor, 80, 90 millimeter is where I would begin. Uh, but you know, I'm I'm trying to uh, have a mindset if I was not in the hobby. And I'm just buying a niece or nephew or a cousin, something like that, a gift. You know, obviously, I, I, I'm not going to buy everybody a $200 gift. Most people don't. So.
So if my budget is around the sixty to seventy dollar uh, range, you know, this is a little more, but you know, would I push it to give them something uh, decent? So I thought, you know, also being a refractor would be slightly better, and it's almost f6 would be slightly better than if you saw that guy. Okay, so here's. Here's what I like and don't like as soon as I just got this like less than an hour ago. Um, here's what I don't like. Everything on this thing is plastic. No metal, no aluminum. It's just very, very, very poor constructed. Um, comes on a tabletop tripod and this is where I was hoping maybe because it's not on a full tripod because you see those little uh, trash telescopes that usually come on the Christmas time, 50 millimeters, 60 millimeters. They come on a full height photo tripod, but they're almost garbage. So, being that this just comes with a tabletop uh, tripod, maybe they put more money into the optics or the OTA versus the cheap tripod. But you know, the tripod is not bad for a tabletop. It, it's it's still plastic, but it has some uh, sturdiness to it. Uh, you could lift it up. Uh, not that that's going to really help. You still need a table or, or something. But um, it's, it's okay. I think the tripod is probably the best thing on this. And the, one thing I do like uh, mm -hmm. is that it does come, as you can see, with slow motion controls. I'm not sure if you can see that. Maybe you'll, let me point it. See, as you can see, it's going down. This one is the rough focus or rough uh, finder, the latitude adjuster. And then it also, as you can see, so it does, you know, I have not seen a cable tripod that comes with slow motion controls, so that's probably one of the best features of this guy. Uh, so that, I'll give it a plus. Tripod's not bad. Everything else about this, the dude cap, the main body, you know, as I said on my other telescope, what's a good telescope, uh, you know, 5x24 finder, basically trash. It's garbage. The focuser is so rough. Um, I, I was able to fix it. There's a couple of screws underneath the focuser. I just untightened it a little bit and that made it better. But again, the focuser is plastic too. The Barlow, inch and a quarter, but it's a three times. I can just tell this is garbage. Uh, eyepieces, okay, they're inch and a quarter, as I said in that other video. Uh, the zero. Uh, 0.965 is the bottom trash. Uh, the inch and a quarter is much better. Um, so that's good. Here at least you're uh, getting inch and a quarter, but they're like Huygens eyepieces. Um, so uh, they're garbage too. Uh, I don't even think you can use them that well. Um, now, I just got it like an hour ago, so I did not test it uh, on the moon or the stars or at night or anything like that. However, um, the CN Tower, which is a landmark, maybe some of you guys, if, if you know it, what that is, or you can Google it, um, it's probably about, uh, I don't know, 30 kilometers away. So I did test it. I put it on my full height tripod. I used my Teleview Palossals, which are good Palossals. Um, you know, they're almost $200 uh, Palossals, and just took a look at it, a couple buildings and the CN Tower, um, you know, uh, with a low power. Um, like 20 power and then 40 power, it um, it was okay. Then I took a look at the uh, building up to like uh, I can't remember if it was 80 power. That looked okay, but you know, I guess I'm kind of torn. If you're gonna buy somebody a telescope and uh, for Christmas, New Year's, or, or that kind of thing, or their birthday, let's say, and 60 to 70 bucks is all you could spend, then um, maybe. I mean, if you upgrade the eyepieces and the finder scope, you could probably see the moon okay-ish. Now, uh, I, I would like to um, look at, you know, if I can, at the stars and the moon with it, because then I'll really be able to tell. But if you really, if you're going to buy a gift, um, e either two things, maybe two or three people, if you're uh, aunts and uncles and you want to buy a kid a gift, maybe two or three you get together pitch in that money that you're going to waste on something like this and uh, just buy something better. So
So I would probably say I'm on the fence. I'm almost borderline where this guy is probably not even worth it. Um, it's a better than nothing. 50-50. I, I don't know. I, I really can't say. I'm, I'm trying to keep a set mind of uh, forget all the expensive stuff I have. If I just got into the hobby um, and this is a gift, may, maybe, maybe. Uh, you, you can probably see the moon and a couple of planets and maybe if you liked it, then maybe go into a $200 price range at least. However, maybe a better buy is I've used the, you know, Celestron Skywatch or Mead has an 80 millimeter F5 refractor, metal construction, metal, uh, you know, everything. Maybe a uh, red dot finder comes with it, inch and a quarter. You, know, you can find them on the used market for 100 to about 125 bucks Canadian. So again, if you guys are in the US, divide by 1.30, UK 1.6, so that's even cheaper. Maybe it might be better you give something a, somebody a gift card and get something like that. You know, I know it doesn't have a tripod or anything like that, but at least you're getting a pretty good uh, you know, telescope. This is similar being 70 mil, almost you know, 5.7, focal ratio. So it, it's kind of in the same league, but it's just the quality is just, everything is plastic. Only this tabletop tripod is okay, I would say. Everything else, I don't think I would buy it again. Um, now, here's the problem with Amazon. Now, sometimes you find a deal, sometimes you don't, sometimes things are so priced. Um, but here's one that I thought might be way better than this, and it's a 70 millimeter uh, itself. So let me just show you what that is. So just I just saw this. It's a 70 millimeter. It's the Power Seeker 70, um, and I, I'm pretty sure that's aluminum construction, inch and a quarter. Yes, uh, the eyepiece is Barlow, and the finder scope is garbage. An EQ1, you know, tripod. So I have a feeling this one's going to be much much better class than this guy, this Barsica. But, um, and the price of this Celestron is normally 155 before tax, with tax about 180. Bits on sale on Amazon, Amazon right now for 99 bucks. So even though I just had this guy for an hour, I'm returning it, I'm exchanging it for this guy, and it's only $38 difference. So I have a good feeling that this Celestron model is I don't know, 10 times better than this guy. You're getting a full height tripod, you know, that type of thing. It's going to be metal construction because I kind of already know what that is. Uh, mind you, the barrows, the finder, and the eyepieces are junk. But, um, you know, this is what's to be expected, I think. If you guys are going to be buying a gift, um, you probably got to get closer to the $200 range or you're just buying cheap stuff cheap uh, plastic stuff that, you know, maybe it, it's just to get you into the hobby to see if you like it. The moon, maybe Jupiter and Saturn, a couple double stars and a couple clusters. Uh, and that's probably it. And maybe you sell it off and um, make most of your money back and then just get something, again, closer to the $200 range. So I'm going to be doing maybe another two videos coming up uh, of uh, the entry level um, Telescopes, the next two are going to be slightly more expensive. Um, the next one I'm getting in is this Celestron that I just showed you guys. So I will take a look and show you guys what I think if you go into that price range. Remember, that's 155 bucks before tax, so it's about 180 Canadian. And then the next one is a Skywatcher Heritage. It's a 5.1 inch F5 uh, reflector. It's a tabletop. Uh, like that other one I showed you on the paper, a tabletop mini doll. Now, I, I already know that that's in a decent quality, but that one is $279 before tax, before shipping. So I know that's going to be better, but you're getting into the $300 price tag. So again, this guy, 70 millimeter, 50 50. If that's all you could afford, and maybe it's better than nothing for them. Maybe it just will whet their appetite where if they see a few things like, okay, I like it, let me go to the $200 or $300 price range, okay, but don't expect much from it. it it's not that good. Everything is cheaply made. Tripods, you know, okay-ish. If you want a tabletop tripod, maybe you can keep that for a camera 
or a small video camera, sure, that could work for that. So, um, or maybe uh, take that up north if you have a cottage, cabin, uh, trailer, and keep it for, you know, bird watching. I mean, it already has a 45 degree angle, so it's set for that. Um, and usually terrestrial and bird viewing, looking at the lake, you don't need high power. So you can do from 10 power to 30, 40 power. So it might work okay on that. Uh, so if you do have a, a property up north or something like that, maybe keep it for that and get something better for the actual astronomy. But anyway guys, I appreciate you watching. Uh, I'll have another two videos coming within the next week or so just to uh, be in time for the Christmas shopping. Hopefully some of you guys, if you watch this and you're thinking about getting a gift, 50-50 uh, on this guy. Um, it's up to you guys. So you guys got to, uh, you know, think about do you want a gift that is going to last or something that is pretty much all you can afford uh, in this time of season and let them whet their appetite. If they like it, maybe they could upgrade to something better your choice. But anyway, hope you liked the video.